Hi, my name is Marcus. Welcome to this tutorial series on building apps with Lit Element. In this first video, we're going to start off gently and just take a look at how we can build a new component using Lit Element and display that in our application. In the next video, we're going to take a look at building a to-do application using Lit HTML for templating, for binding events. We're going to deal with state and just see how we can build a meaningful application using Lit Element. In the video after that, we're going to extract the state management from the view itself into a central Redux store so that we have an easier time uh, growing the application over time. In the next video, we're going to take a look at navigation and splitting code into smaller bundles based on route so that we can keep our app nice and fast even though it starts to grow. And finally, we're going to take a look at PWA and dealing with offline situations. You can find the text versions of all of these tutorials online. I'll link below. All right, so let's get started. In this first uh, tutorial, we'll start with a started application. I'll link in the video, and then you can find the link also in the text version of the tutorial. Once you download the starter and open it up in your editor, you'll see something like this. So we have a index.html page with just some basic meta tags. Uh, we're loading some custom elements adapters for browsers that don't support custom elements natively, and then we have a very basic scaffold for our application. We have an empty index file here uh, that just loads our styles, some basic styling, and a webpack configuration that helps us build the application and also runs a development server that will make it easier for us to see the, see the changes as we're going along. So once you've installed uh, or extracted the application, the first thing that you want to do is go into your terminal and install all the dependencies with npm. All right. Now that we have those dependencies installed, we can go ahead and start the dev server. When the server has started, you can go ahead and close the terminal and go to your browser and hit up localhost 8080. You should see something like this. So we have the app header, but no content. Okay, so let's get started. I'll open up a new terminal here and install lit element as our dependency to our project. Okay, now that we have lit installed, let's go into our source folder and create a new folder called views. And inside of views, create a new file called to do view.js. So this file will be where we implement our new component using lit element. The implementation will have two parts. First, the definition of the component itself, and then a registration. So let's start by implementing the component. So we extend from lit element, which is the base class. And inside of this, we want to have a render function, which will define the template render, and this will return an HTML template tag. Inside of this tag, we are able to write any HTML. So we can just do, for instance, a paragraph here, say, hello world. Okay, so now that we have the implementation of this, we need to go and actually define this uh, or register this with our browser. We do that through the custom elements registry called define. We give it a tag name, which will be to do view. And then we pass in the class itself. So that would be to do view. One thing to note here is that the class or the tag name should have a dash in it per spec. So that will allow us to avoid any naming collisions with any current or future HTML tags. The only uh, further thing that we need to do is import this lit element and HTML tags from from our uh, dependency. So we'll import lit element in HTML from Polymer lit element. With our component definition complete, we can go into our index file here and import the uh, import the component so that it will be available to the browser. So we'll import and then just with a 
relative path here to views to do view.js. And then with this imported, we can go into our index file and inside the main block here, we'll create a new to do view like so. All right, we'll save that. If you still have the development server running, you should be able to go over to your browser and see the hello world uh, text being displayed here. So that's the very basics of using lit element. You essentially use uh, create a class that extends from lit element. You define the render function, and then you register it with the custom elements registry. So now that we have the basics down, the next video will be much more interesting. We're going to take a look at how we can actually build a meaningful application uh, using lit HTML for the templating, binding to events, binding data, dealing with state, and doing all kinds of cool stuff. So be sure to check out the next video. Thanks.